Life can't be easy for anyone who's unlucky enough to be labeled a regicide. That goes triple for someone like Geralt. Could his luck get any worse? I've known the Witcher for a long time, and I'm sure that kings, courts, and politics concern him about as much as last year's snow. But hey, life doesn't always dole out what we expect, right? Sometimes it even forces us to associate with unsavory characters like Vernon Roach. No, I'm not making any excuses. And yes, I had my reasons. The Witcher spent most of the way to Flotsam talking to someone. Long into the evening, as water lapped against the boat's side, Triss told him forgotten stories of his unexpected child and his toxic relationship with a sorceress named Jennifer. Stories of a life stolen from him. Am I boring you? Don't set this tale aside. Give me just a few minutes more, for someone special's about to appear in dire straits upon a scaffold. Sheathe your sword, Elf. I'm here to talk. Bow low. You stand before a head crowned. That of Demavend, King of Edurn, by the grace of the gods. Sovereign of the Pontar Valley, and so on. And you are? A friend to non-humans. I have an offer. Speak quickly and to the point. The Arrakis will soon return, and I'd rather know all before then. I can add several more heads to this one. Each crowned. Go on. Fault has to start with. I barely escaped in Edirn. I'll need help. Access to your hideouts and maps of your secret trails. And the support of the Scoia'tael. I want no gold and have no interest in a killer's fame. Then why do you wish them dead? It's a long story. Your beast nabbed his neck time ago. Do we have a deal, Elf?
Klotzen should be just beyond the point. We'll take the beach. Who's we? You and me. Reconnaissance. I'm coming too. You should stay behind. We can't be sure of the reception we'll get. Precisely why I won't let you go alone. Someone's got to look after you. That time of the month. Water's cold as hell. Come on, Witcher! Witcher, we're waiting. Something's brewing. Your witch's ass is gonna have to get wet. Jump! Witcher, we're waiting. Water's <coughs> cold as hell. Come on, Witcher. Any news from your secret informer? The port's blocked. Some merchants have been held up for months. What about roads through the forest? Yorveth rules the forest. Where are we? In a forest? Very funny. But who does it belong to? Yorveth, maybe? I know more about the Pontar Valley than you think. For instance, I know that Foltest stole this land from Denevend a few years back. I believe you had a hand in that. Hear that? I smell an elf. That's Vernon Roach, Special Forces Commander for the last four years, servant of the Temerian King, responsible for the pacification of the Mahakaman foothills, hunter of elves, murderer of women and children, twice decorated for valor on the field of battle. Yorveth, a regular son of a whore. I've long awaited our meeting. Laid plans, set traps, and now you appear in my forest of your own volition. You aided the man who slew my king. King or beggar, what's the difference? One dwan less. We need him alive. No any useful spells? Get his attention. We need to focus. I'll try. Climb down and we'll finish this. I await. Ha! You're a man without honor, Vernon Roach. An insect I'll not duel, but one that I will crush. Seems like you spout the same old elven drivel. What do you mean, Witcher? I've seen your kind before. Proud and shaved, sneaking around forests. Helpless, yet masking that with acts of increasing cruelty. I helped kill Roach's king. You call that helpless? Or would you call me a terrorist? No one will grant us our freedom, Witcher. We must win it for ourselves. You're just another old elf in a young elf's skin, using clever words to mask an obvious truth. Obvious, you say? This is not about race or freedom, or even vengeance. You're here because someone powerful told you to be. Someone who's using you. They may wear a crown, carry a magic wand, or even lead a guild. But be sure of this. It's not about your freedom, your rights, or your ears. Nilfgaard plowed you once, now someone new does. Am I wrong? Those times are gone. No one will ever use the square tal again. Who are you addressing? Me? Yourself? Or the archers in those shrubs? Triss, now! <laughs> What? That ought to 
to discourage them. Triss, are you all right? Lovely. You should have charmed the archers. They're coming. Geralt, the spell's still working. Stay close. Tris is spent, so no more butterflies. Let's get the fuck out of here. Back to the boat? There's even more of them that way. We must fight our way toward Flotsam. Mm -hmm. Get your hands on the Who did you think it was? I'm not exactly a flower. One of the oh, men. Oh, I noticed. At least I'll die holding a lovely ass. Not mine. Come on, let's go. Are you all right? Yeah. Yes. Fine. What's happening? All I see are your boots. Where the hell is that trading post? I'm starting to think we'll make it. Wait. The barrier's waning. Trace! Be quick! Give me a bit more magic. Just a little. Geralt, kill them now! You know each other? Rather well. But he has amnesia. I actually took the Witcher by surprise when I killed Foltest. Fear not, Elf. I know Geralt. I know his weakness. Too many spells at once. You can die from that. See that? Yeah. The Kingslayer and Yorvith. You all in one piece? Who are you? I'm a witcher. Emirvar Emrys, spice merchant. A trader? In spices. Uh-huh. And the woman? My good man, we barely escaped death. Be so kind as to tell us where we might get some rest. We'll explain everything later. Very well. Head for the market square. You might be in time for the execution. Some ne'er-do-wells are going to hang. A dwarf and some bard. There's also an inn and a brothel. Oh yeah, the brothel sounds especially interesting. Take care now. Nice merchant. Not likely. Did you say that? Squirrels that are very wolves. Your Beth led them. I saw him with my own eyes. Say Who are something. These blokes? Or did you just They're fart? <laughs> I think the stew's ready. Bah, some hanging. A bunch of non humans and a spider. You might want to stir it. I don't cowardly. I'm working on the tail. Think he'll shake himself. Zoltan. Dandelion. My former. Just great. What's the plan? 
we improvise. No killing. We'll take care of this, Triss. Geralt! Geralt! Over here, help! Dog catcher. Step back, white one. What are they going to hang for? They don't look dangerous. The charge is collusion with a sky or two. Dandelion, an elven spy? The bard's hanging for debauchery. What? The sentence was he's to hang for debauchery. And a sentence is nothing to scoff at! I don't give a shit. Stop the execution. Careful, Wanderer! You could lose your tongue for that. I've heard of you and know you can fight, but you'll not take on the whole garrison. Oi, Tin Man, that's pure rubbish. You're talking to the famed Geralt of Rivia, you are. Commandant Laredo rules this town, and it's his orders I follow. Piss off, Jesters, before I have you beaten good. You're a disgrace to your uniform, you shitty little idiot. What? Hey, boys, lend me a hand here. Got an uppity little one that needs a thrashing. Take a swing. I dare you. Can't turn that down! Get him! Kick yes. him in the balls! Want to square with the others? Bang ah. anyway! Ah. Assaulted an officer! Bang anyway! <coughs> you freak! Want to square with the others? Ah. They'll hang anyway! Come on up! Got room for one more deviant! Oh, freak! Want to squirm with the others? They'll hang anyway! Come on up! Got room for one more deviant! You freak! Want to squirm? going on here? I said, what the arse fuck is going on? Uh, uh, I'd like to re re report. Ha, 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 out of my sight, Clover. A few ploughing bandits and you can't even hang them. And you, stay calm, hands off your sword. Our scaffold embraces speeches and hangings. Which will it be? You have no right to hang them. Interesting. Because I'm the law in Flotsam. I take issue with that. Vernon Roach, officer of the King. Well, well. Blue Stripes. The non-human hunters. Precisely. Anyone suspected of collaborating with the Scoia'tael falls under my jurisdiction. And Dandelion? What's he accused of? He burned down a watchtower. What's your jurisdiction say to that? I thought so. Is that true? It might have looked that way, but I swear it wasn't my fault. I'd rather give you a thief. Relax. I'm joking. I hate thieves. We can put on another show, bloody and serious this time, mind you, or we can come to an understanding. Meaning? Listen here. 
You may have heard rumours of the tragic events that transpired during the siege of Lavalet Castle. Sadly, they are true. King Foltest is dead. It's likely that Scoyatel had a hand in this heinous murder. So you see, none of you can feel safe. That is why today, wagons with armaments will roll out into Flotsam streets. I hereby declare a state of emergency. Await orders, prepare to fight, and ready yourselves to avenge your fallen king. Now disperse, go to your homes. What about them? They'll not hang for now. Let's say I'm reconsidering their cases. The scaffold's no place for civil conversation. We'll talk at my home. Your friends are free for the time being, but they're not to leave town. Come after dusk. <laughs> I'll be busy till then. There's one more thing. Welcome to Flotsam, Witcher. They were really going to hang us. I, I don't know. I didn't mean to torch that watchtower. Everything's all right, Dandelion. Let's get out of here. Oh, we all. We all you get out. Thank you. Time to hit the tavern. Come on, Dandelion, you need a stiff drink. And while we're at it, I'll tell you an edifying tale of local hypocrisy that conceals lechery beneath a veneer of courtesy. Except nothing can hide the stench. First patrol. It's boring. We can fix that. Tomorrow we'll club it out. Hmm. A notice board. Might find something interesting here. Damn, that was close. Inkeep! Vodka! Tris Merigold! Lice eat me, but you are a treat to behold. Uh, just a little pale. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be all right. Good to see you in your beard again. Can somebody tell me what happened? You set off a month ago for Zoltan's wedding. That got fucked. There will be no wedding. Did you hear about Foltest? Rumors travel faster than the wind. Winds and rumors. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Foltis died. And the dragon, was there really one there? And who rules Temeria now? Dandelion, calm down. You'll choke on your liquor. No wedding, Zoltan. <laughs> the Bregan rigs broke off the engagement because some limp prick put it about that I joined the uprising in Vizima. I would be Papa Law refused to let a rebel firebrand join the family. And keep, where's our drink? It was like this. We got to Mahakam a week after the Grand Master died. Bob Zoltan, an absolutely grand doublet, a pair of Garibaldi Krakows, and as a gift for Eudora, a jade stone as big as my fist. You were broke as a joke by the time Dandelion threw me a bachelor party at an establishment called the Tight Lane. Next day, we went over to the Breckenrigs. 
They welcomed us in, sat us down, and proceeded to discuss the superiority of Mahakaman mining know-how over any other. And that went on until dinner. Just when I thought I'd learned more than I ever wanted to know about mining, they served the soup. You could have held a pen drop. Old Breckenridge rose and he says, A real dwarf works a mine, not chases fame on the battlefield. You'll never believe this, Geralt, but they served duck blood soup. It was as black as tar. They must have dropped lumps of coal into the pot. Eat, Breckenridge says, then proceeded to slop two full bowls of the shite. Old goat. Of his mind caves in on his head. Laredo said you're working with the Scoia, tells Alton. I have done many things in my life, get out, but I have never stooped to banditry. The Scoia'tael don't consider themselves bandits. But I am no Scoia'tael. Since when have you worked for Roach? Hey! Nobody said a word when you went out to save Temeria from the Grand Master and his mutants. Relax, Dandelion. I was just asking. Do what you want. You're an adult, kind of. <laughs> that wasn't very supportive. Laugh away. At least I decided to do something constructive. You used to spy for Redania. Now you're spying for Temeria. Some might call you a traitor. Ever tried to live off of poetry alone? The truth is, I'm a citizen of the world. As long as I don't serve Emperor Emir, I'm not doing any harm. Leave him be, Geralt. You play the spy a bit, get bored, and drop it. You know how he is. The dragon. Well, the dragon appeared, and that's all I know. But where did the La Villettes get a dragon? We heard it fought on their side, huge as a barn, they say. Dragons don't usually take sides. Maybe its lair was nearby, and it just felt threatened. If you hadn't driven it off, Foltis might not have taken the castle. Maybe. We'll never know for sure. Triss, you're the expert on Temeria. Tell us who's in charge now. It's chaotic and getting worse. The old families are fighting for supremacy, no holds barred. Baron Kimbolt and Count Merivale, I bet. Among others. After the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the Lords convened in a field near Lavalette Castle to choose a new ruler. Three days they debated, and it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court and ministry positions, spheres of influence, royal privileges. <laughs> Humans. In spite of several duels and two poisonings, no king was chosen. Civil war was in the air. Did they ultimately resolve anything? No. It ended as usual. Sadly, John Talis remains our only hope. Ah, the victor at Brenna, and Foltest's most tried and true field commander. Hmm. And during the deliberations, he was several days' march from Lavalette Lambs, with an additional 2,000 armed men in tow. He's to keep the peace until a rightful monarch is chosen. He could find that ruling is to his liking. Natalis is a soldier at heart. He's not suited to rule, and I don't believe he even wants to. He's got the army behind him. Which is why he can guarantee peace. Why, a tenuous one, sure, but that's always better than civil war. Besides which, he's deeply in debt to a dwarven bank in which Philippa Eilhart as sorceress holds significant stake. I think I've heard enough about politics. Foltest's killer lay in wait in the tower where the Lavalettes had hidden the royal bastards. He was well informed. Wait a minute, what were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Foltest began treating me as his lucky charm. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. The dragon separated us from the rest of the army. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a blind one at that. He let Foltest greet his children, waited until I had walked off, and cut the king's throat from ear to ear. How did he flee? Jumped out a window into the river below. Yorvith Scoyatel were waiting in a boat. It was planned. And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? 
I was accused of the murder. I need to clear my name. Besides, I looked him in the eye before he escaped. He's a witcher. Then some brave Temerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and knocked me out. Save yourselves, good folk! The beast attacks! We better get out there. Someone's casting spells. Sorceress, are you? A lot of good you did. Can't you hear me? Why didn't you help him? He's alive, isn't he? The beast nearly pulled him in the water while you stood staring like a calf at a shit-covered clover. Watch your words. Where's this beast? Ask her. Geralt. Ah, I guess we knew each other. Oh, look here. Birds of a feather. Let's say... I've heard of you. Master Witcher, this is foolish. The beast near pulled Sozek into the depths, and you're simply chatting with this damsel. All right. What happened? I came to Flotsam to kill the Cairn. Cairn? The monster that has effectively blocked the port. A moment ago, I had the good fortune to see it in all its splendor, but the local folk scared it away. Good fortune? You hear that, Sozek? That was some good fortune for you. Why is the beast in the port all of a sudden, eh? Summoned by the witch, perchance? To see it in all its splendor. I'm tired of your whining. Get out of here. Ah, oh, as ever. It's the common folk that get ploughed. Come on, lads! <laughs> I apologize for interrupting, but I am Louis Merce, and I am chief person in charge of all matters related to monster hunting in Flotsam. It is in this capacity that I must inquire if you're willing to attempt to resolve the problem of our so-called Cairn, the beast that now blocks all trade traffic on the river. So, Witcher, are we willing? I usually work alone. I was here first, and I'll not relinquish this contract. My way or the highway, as the locals put it. Fine. Your way it is. You must contact the merchants on the waterfront as regards any rewards. Madame de Tanserville has, I believe, already conducted some preliminary negotiations. That I have. In that case, don't let me keep you. Triss, how long must I wait for you to introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville, advisor to Queen Zulika of Kovir. Kovir is a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Cairn was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Triss Merigold. Sharp as ever. You're thinking that... Troll eyes, ghoul venom, virgin's blood, all those disgusting marvels we take from dying species to throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths. Right, Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying breed. Oh my. Your sense of humor seems to be intact too. But enough of these pleasantries. Tell me, Geralt. You saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? The beast must be huge. Maybe inhabited one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Pontar it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. You're partly correct. Cedric claims the Cairn emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. Cedric? An elf. Formerly a Scoia'tael. Strange bird. But he knows quite a bit about the area and its living wonders. I need to look around, find out a few things. Hmm. An investigation. Witcher's rituals, extracting secrets and such. More or less. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward, pay Cedric a visit and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. 
I've rented lodgings there, on the upper floor. You know the inn's also a horror house. Thanks for the warning. the mason to take you as his apprentice. You learn a trick. Gain respect. I've always preferred the wandering life. Meet new people. Ever seen the river monster, the Karen? I have, but I'm not the talkative kind. Are you the kind that scares easily? Huge beast. Stirs the water with its tentacles like a water wheel. Dead fish all around it. Must be venomous. I'll be damned. That's just bollocks. your service. Ha! How are you like? Going somewhere, friend? Say something. Or did you just fart?
free. No, working my ass off like a stage cut. Good day. Greetings, white-haired one. I could do with your help. You see, I'm looking for a certain formula. I'm no herbalist. I know who you are. I'll be straight. Find the formula and you'll earn a sizable pouch of Aurans. Sounds good. What do you want me to do? The formula is in the hands of a certain shopkeeper. Can't go and see him yourself? He deals in incense. One type is particularly... popular. I think what he sells is harmful, yet I need the formula to prove it. The scoundrel knows that and is very cautious. Yet I assume you, as a witcher, have your ways? I'll see what I can do. Don't no, catch you. You're not handsome enough. Are you a witcher? I am. You've got to do something about that filthy business. The crook selling the poison is going unpunished. I think he's just selling incense. Incense is only a cover. People get addicted to it, lose their senses. It's like Fistech. You must shut down that shop. Close the shop and the citizens of Flotsam will reward you handsomely. I'll talk to the trader. Flotsam's got a garrison. We don't need a witcher. Welcome to my modest shop. I need one of your incense formulae. I've got more than 200 here. I'm interested in the best seller. Someone's offering a handsome price for that formula. They say it's harmful. Impossible. I haven't had a single complaint. And I'll not give the formula to anyone. How about this? I give you a formula for a similar scent. You get your reward, and I keep my secret. If I don't get the real formula by the count of five, you'll be greeting one of the two friends I carry on my back. One. Two. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, maybe we can come to an agreement. Three. All right, wait. I'll give it to you. Here. Happy? They say one of your scents is a strong drug. A drug here? Never heard such nonsense. A lady told me it works just like Fistech. Perhaps everything works like Fistech on that lady. Maybe Lorito needs to learn about your incense. I beg you. I'll tell you everything, just don't turn me in. I've traded in incense for years. It, it was an ordinary scent. How could I know it would have such an effect on people? Anyway, I can't ban them from using it. You sound honest enough.
everything in order? You haven't closed the shop. People continue to get addicted to that rubbish because of you. No one's forcing them to buy incense. You'd not say that if your own were sniffing it. Get out of here! Welcome to my modest shop. I need one of your incense formulae. I've got more than 200 here. I'm interested in the best seller. Someone's offering a handsome price for that formula. They say it's harmful. Impossible. I haven't had a single complaint. And I'll not give the formula to anyone. How about this? I give you a formula for a similar scent. You get your reward, and I keep my secret. If I don't get the real formula by the count of five, you'll be greeting one of the two friends I carry on my back. One. Two. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, maybe we can come to an agreement. Three. All right, wait. I'll give it to you. Here. Happy? What do you deal in? All kinds of incense, mainly. For meditation, rejuvenation, cooking, making medicine, rituals, whatever you require. Welcome to my modest shop. They say one of your scents is a strong drug. A drug here? Never heard such nonsense. A lady told me it works just like Fistech. Perhaps everything works like Fistech on that lady. Maybe Lorito needs to learn about your incense. I beg you. I'll tell you everything. Just don't turn me in. I've traded in incense for years. It was an ordinary scent. How could I know it would have such an effect on people? Anyway, I can't ban them from using it. Lorito and I will see you tomorrow. All right then. I I'll close the shop. But don't tell anyone. I, I beg you. I see you've done it. Thank you on behalf of all Flotsam. Here's your award. Something's troubling me. Let's see. Hey there, Witcher! Are you Geralt of Rivia, sir? Who's asking? Thank you, Master. For what you did outside Lavalette Castle. Our family would have perished if not for you. Please accept this modest gift. I can't accept this. But... Give my regards to your relatives. Spuds. Why Spuds? Don't even feel like 